Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here. Boxing Live here. Boxing Live here. We're with Rosanna, Rosanna Bagel. That's right. Yeah. Um, uh, fighting that light fly. Um, <laughs> pro debut. Um, tell us a bit about yourself, because obviously yeah, you was at the on top table explaining your your journey, and it was a great journey. And obviously, like David said, you could make a movie out of that. Explain a bit about yourself and and how you got the box, even though you've 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 already said it again. Um, so I started off at the age of seventeen. Um, as a, <laughs> Um, so what started off as a hobby and a passion then turned into a career for me. I fell in love with the sport, it was fast and furious and explosive and I loved it. I loved the challenge, the mental and physical challenge that I um, endured um, throughout my journey as a high boxer. Um, there were challenges that presented itself, being Asian, being female, being petite, suffering from ME. Those were all challenges. What's ME? ME is chronic fatigue, so okay. I was diagnosed with Really? That. So you get tired a lot? Yeah, it, it, it's so if I overtrain, I get tired, I have to tailor my sessions. Mm. I think it's better for me than overtraining. Um, it's incredibly difficult because as an athlete, I want to push myself. I want to see what I can do. Um, however, I have to restrain myself and pull back to the fight night. Um, but I'm determined, I'm hardworking, and you know, I give it my all in the ring. So, um, yeah, I go against all the odds and hopefully I can open up doors for other females to pursue their passion. Yeah, and, and for when they go through difficulty with themselves, they can look at you and your journey. And, yeah. and that, that's a great, that's a you know, great inspiration and a great role model to especially these young women as well. Um, uh, you, you start fighting style, obviously you've done um, uh, Muay Thai. Mm -hmm. Now, did you go to, did you, was you fighting in Thailand and stuff like that? Did you start in Thailand? No, I started in England at, um, when I was 17. And I was doing it only once a week as a hobby. Um, and later on, once I finished university, I I realised that I was doing something positive in my life. The sport made me a better person. It taught me discipline. It taught me respect. It made me humble. It taught me life skills. Um, and these were key elements that I could then you know, bring to the table. So I decided then to tell my family, um, and I, you know, it was a daunting experience, but yes. it was one that was worth it because I wanted that blessing, especially when I was competing at an elite level. Mm. Um, and that's how my journey started to progress quite rapidly, where I uh, became British champion in 2010, and then 2016, I finally got my first title, and that was my goal to keep persevering, keep going until I got the end. Yeah, so you've definitely done that and you're here, you're going to be fighting Saturday. Give a message directly in the camera to your fans, obviously support you over, over the years, and what, what would you expect to see on your fight night? just like to say thank you to everyone that's um, going to be tuning in, supporting me, and make a prayer for me. And just, you know, I'll be fast, explosive, I'm going to be fighting with every ounce of me, and just giving it my all. So, that's what we expect. Yeah. Thanks very much, Brenna. Welcome, um, welcome to the pro ranks, and we like to look forward to see you on Saturday. Thank you. You're welcome. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here. Let's go, let's go, let's go.